and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with the bonus episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest. I am joined, as always, by our maxed out hero, Silva. When we last left off, I beat the game. We're going to be doing that again in a bit, but first, I wanted to equip the cursed belt. Uh, I did have a backup save for this. There is a good reason for that. Let's go ahead and put it on. The cursed belt has been equipped. The cursed belt clamped itself onto Silva's body. You're missing an apostrophe. We've been cursed. The horror of it all. It doesn't really seem to have done much to us. Uh, like I said, if you get into a battle now, it kind of prevents you from doing an attack some of the time, but not all of the time. It's not a death sentence, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, with this on, let's go ahead and try to go into Ratatoum Castle. Are you thinking about it his way? And I think they're trying to imply that we were siding with King Dragon, which we did not do. Uh, if we look now, though, we can see that I have 1 HP and no MP. In fact, if I look at my items, uh, not only do I have the Cursed Belt, they got rid of my Mirror Shield and turned it into a Cursed Necklace, which is not very nice at all. So let's head up and try to talk to the King. Maybe the King will want to get this uh, belt off of me, see if he can get that off. I can't say it's the first time that a King has taken my belt off. Uh, unfortunately, here it's a little glitched. I assume that this is a problem with this version of the game. Uh, because, once again, I've never tried this before, so I, I, I don't know. But that looks kind of Japanese and buggy to me. Uh, basically, they won't let you up there and they kick you out of the castle. Now, there is a way... Wait, am I back to... No, I, okay, I got a little bit of health back because I've been walking. But, uh, outside of that, I, I haven't really been healed. The way to get the cursed belt off is to head back to the town of Ratatoum, and you can actually talk to this guy here, and he'll take it off for you. But unfortunately, that is bugged in this game, so I'm not going to be able to show that to you guys. But I should say that there is actually another cursed belt in the game. It's in the grave of uh, Garai. But, like I said, it's really just for selling, and it doesn't even sell for that much. So it's pretty much useless. I will be back, though, and we will head to the bottom of the castle at max level. And we are back at the castle. And now it's time to look at our stats. I am max level. As you can see, I am rich over 80,000 gold. And I have nothing to spend it on. Literally nothing left. I'm maxed out on everything except for keys, but I only need one key at this point. Uh, I have pretty damn good stats. I'm not gonna say they're the best ever. Um, I could have probably you know, save state abuse my way into getting a little bit better stats, maybe five on each individual stat better, give or take. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with these stats. I, I, I do think that this is more than enough to head in, and we will continue our journey to defeat King Dragon once more, because he's back for whatever reason I make up. We are going to do this at max level. It should be very easy at this point. Remember that I did beat this at level 20. Well, technically level 21, but at this point I was level 20 when I went on the final run. And that is pretty much the level that you want to be if you want to go through. Killer Wolves, as you saw there, don't really scare me. Nothing scares me. Master Wizards, I don't always one-shot at this level, uh, but chances are I do. There is a bit of randomness, of course, to how much damage I do, just like any other RPG. So there is always a chance... There we go. There is always a chance that I don't one-shot things, but primarily I will be one-shotting everything. Let's go ahead and cast Radiant. I mean, I have over 200 MP. I should be fine. There we go. <laughs> pressed the wrong button. Even in the bonus episode, I pressed the wrong freaking button. So let's head through the whole place again. A terrific move will pretty much mean instant death for everything except for the final boss in either form. But terrific move will... Yeah, just one-shot everything in my way. Really, at this point, I have nothing to fear, except for getting lost, which is still a possibility. It has been a little while, probably about a week since I actually went through this before. 
So there's still the possibility that I will get lost. Hopefully I do remember my way through this place, but I can't really guarantee that I'll remember it every step of the way. It is, after all, like eight floors, I think. Eight floors, uh, but I should be fine. I should be fine. Let's just continue on. I do want to talk a little bit about this version of the game. This is my favorite version of the game, of course. I haven't played the Game Boy Cla Color? I think it's Game Boy Color version of the game. I almost said classic, but I don't think it's Game Boy Classic. I think it's Game Boy Color version of the game. I have not played that. I've only played the original Nintendo version and this version of the game. Of course, this version of the game was never released in North America. Luckily, there's fan, tr fan translations for it. But of the two, this blows the NES version out of the water. It's not even close. Uh, it adds personality. It adds... Well, it takes away a lot of the grinding, that's for sure. Uh, the grinding that I did, of course, I'm using, you know, fast forward, frame skip, whatever you want to call it. It only took me about 15 minutes to get from level 21 to 30. So I am very satisfied with that. That is not a problem for me. Uh, of course, if you don't have that, or if you're using the original NES version of the game, that could take you hours. That is not something that I always look forward to. I think it's this way. Maybe it's the other way. Either way, I shouldn't have really any difficulty. It might have been the path over on the left. Damn it, it was. I thought so. So we're going to have to do a little bit of backtracking because I suck. That's just the way that it's going to have to be, unfortunately. But we will make it to the bottom nonetheless. Uh, the sprites, the music, everything seems more cheery. It seems more vibrant in this version of the game. And I don't think that the Game Boy Color can really match up to that. And once again, I think it's Color. It could be Game Boy Advance, but I'm pretty sure it's the Color version. I have not played that version of the game. I have only played this version and the original Nintendo version, as I said. There's also a Wii version, but that was only released in Japan. We'll see if Nintendo decides, oh, maybe America would like this too, but chances are they won't. They never seem to, to think that. Not when it comes to RPGs. Not when it comes to RPGs, unfortunately. They don't think that America really likes them. And that's sad, uh, to some extent, because the Dragon Quest series, I think, is... Not necessarily as good as the Final Fantasy series because, well, the Final Fantasy series holds a special place in my heart. But I think it is still very important. Ah, fine, we'll do another Radiant. Just so I can make sure to try to go th through this as fast as I can. But I think that the Dragon Quest series is underrated here in, in the United States. And I don't like using that word very often. I don't like putting pretty much words into other people's mouths, if that makes sense. I don't like saying things are overrated or underrated, but I don't think this has the, the exposure that I think it deserves in the United States. And I, I, I think that people just see Japanese RPGs and go, oh, Final Fantasy, and that's it. They, they don't really see anything beyond that when it comes to uh, Japanese RPGs. And there is Dragon Quest, and if th this is the right way, right? Run ahead this way. And if you look at Japan, they actually love Dragon Quest more as a series, most likely, than Final Fantasy. It's like right up there. It's neck and neck between those two. Uh, so I would say that if you are a fan of Final Fantasy, you, you should check out the Dragon Quest series. And this is probably the best way to get it started, this version here. If you want to start at the beginning like I typically do, then this version is the one for you. It's, it's the one that probably the closest parallel to probably any of the Final Fantasy games. I would say that this is on par with the graphics levels of probably Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Uh, well, the remastered versions of those. If we're, if we're looking at the original version, it's probably on par with Final Fantasy 4. This, this version of Dragon Quest, I would say. But I think that we are almost there. Not quite. Almost. 
I think it's just all the way across and down. It looked like I should have been able to make that. There we go. So we have made it down to the bottom again. Uh, I will actually drop a save state right before we do uh, King Dragon again because I do want to show off what happens when you say... Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. You know, joining him. But overall, you know, that's that's pretty much my review of this version of the game. I think it is really fantastic, and I say that this version of the game, even though the, the plot is simple and basic, you know, it is a start, but if you are a fan of the genre, I think this is a game that really deserves at least a look at. Um, possibly a playthrough. It does not take long, uh, even when I max out everything. I'm probably looking at about 20 hours for for an RPG. That is that is nothing. All right, let me let me drop a save right here, and I will talk to King Dragon, and then we will see what happens if I say, "Yeah, that that sounds totally fine." All right, let's see. How you doing, buddy? You have come, so I am the King of Kings. I am King Dragon. I've been waiting for you, so you're the young man destined to arrive. If you want to be my ally, I'll give you half of the world, Zova. What do you say? Will you be my ally? Yeah, sure. I mean, I can't really think of anything drastically evil that you have done, so sure. Then to complete our alliance, I will take that sword. No, you can't have my sword, though. What? You don't want half the world? How disappointing. Wouldn't you like to reconsider? Yeah, unfortunately you have to give him the sword, which I'm not a fan of, but fine, we'll go ahead and give him the sword since that's what he asks. Aaron, go ahead, take the awesome sword that I worked my ass off in order to get. The thing that bothers me about this, though, is that he asked for the sword. We got the sword in this castle. It was in his castle. And that's what he needed, apparently, to empower himself. I don't... At last, I've obtained the sword! Though it doesn't matter what weapon you wield. Well then, receive my gift. I give you half the world of darkness, Silva. So, he, in order to turn the world to darkness, I guess, he needed the sword. The sword that was in his castle. I don't know, just a little bit of a problem. And here you go. It appears you had a nightmare last night. It must have been quite a dream. Well then, please take care and come again. Now, if I remember right, uh, well, everything is pretty much the same. You don't really get a game over. All my money is still there, too. And so is the sword. So there's really no downside other than the fact that you'd have to go all the way back through the dungeon. But you can actually say yes. It's just not that interesting. But of course, that's not what we are here to do. We are here to defeat King Dragon. So we have seen this before a few times now. No and no. What, I, you don't even need to ask the question. The answer is no. Try to defeat me. You'll realize what true suffering is. Now, I didn't really ever show off the spells in this game. That's because they're not very good. Uh, let's take a look at Hurt More. We'll see how much it does here. Firebane, Hurt More. I like Hurt More better. I think I decided it is the better name because it's kind of silly. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage. Well, it looks like it did. And it did about 50-something damage on him. But, you know, for him, you want to save your MP. And you do pretty much the same amount of damage with a regular attack. So... Why not just regular attacks and save your MP for healing? Of course, he loves to heal himself. It still takes quite a bit of work to finish this guy off, unfortunately, especially when he keeps on healing himself like a dick. You are a dick. Do you know that, King Dragon? But down goes the King Dragon. And there he disappears. Of course, they couldn't really do this on screen, so they kind of had to have the sprite go away and fade out on on that they couldn't do it in here all right we need to heal I should be faster than him uh, but as you can see he still does quite a bit of damage to me uh, you still need to heal it's not something that you can easily do well I don't think you can do it you have to be, well you might be incredibly lucky and the guy will just miss all the damn time but 
really you still need to use a lot of your MP if you want to beat this guy. You have to just constantly heal. This guy, even at max level, is pretty damn tough. Once again, a terrific move saves the day for me and down goes the Dragon King or the Dragon Lord or King Dragon or however they phrase it. And that is going to do it for Let's Play Dragon Quest. Peace has returned to the world, and I must be off. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Hero Silva. Hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time for Dragon Quest 2. Thanks for watching.